Many thanks for coming to the YouTube channel. And we have the Dream Team here. We have Rob, give a little wave. He likes to hit his head over the rack. Mm -hmm. We have Ray, give a little wave. Matt, are you still awake? Give a wave. Joey, say hello. Say hello, Joey. Hello, how are you doing? Hi. And then Carl. You. All right, here we are. This is how we're going to, uh, well, I'm gonna let you talk, Carl. What are we doing here? All right, we're cutting the, the shielding of the fiber. That's right. So what we do is we don't have to get so crazy with the fiber splicing and all that stuff. We just want our cable pulling team to be able to get it all laced up so that our other dream teams with fiber can just go ahead and do that. So as you can see, it's a good all right, so I just scored it so I can crack it open. Right now, I'm just going to cut around it. Just make sure you don't cut the fiber. Nice. So you just want to go nice and easy. You will feel sometimes with the cutter. Matt, what are those cutters called again? Uh, right diagonal on. cutting pliers? No, no, no. Uh, what Joey's picking up. Oh, rotosplit. Rotosplit. So you can get those uh, ideal sells them. They're really ain't that expensive. 54 bucks. You can go on Amazon. I would get something name brand um, because there are some difficulties. Um, and as Carl's getting it perfect because he's Mr. Perfect. So this is just one of our trays that we have. And this is just one of the older corny ones. Um, slide out tray. There's all different various things. Right here is the splice where you put your splices in there. But as Carl's cracked it open, it's kind of like the crab legs he likes to eat. You like crab? Of course. Man. Oh, who doesn't? You don't like crab legs. I, I like crab legs. I don't like crabs. Oh, yeah. Well, ouch, ouch, <laughs> ouch. All right. So you usually would put a mat. Just what kind of bushing? An anti short. Any short, short there. But, but right for, now. Yeah, for tutorial purposes, and Paul's working on a budget. That guy is so cheap. So we're just going to use tape right now because we want to see you. The most important thing is how to secure it into the tray. And this is what our prep teams are going to be able to do. So, Carl, talk about that length of right. where you got. So I, I did this length because you want to be able to. Once you tie it in here, you want it to be able to at least extend here. And then of course, the extra fiber length, we need to splice right. once you start splicing. So you can bring it in, I believe in either direction. Yeah. So it really Dep just depends. Depending on which way you come into your rack. Right. Do it either or. Copy that. Actually might be better to do it this way if you want to put the tef Teflon on here. That's true. But for now, we're going to do it this, this yep. side. As Carl's famous for saying, some direction is better than no direction, right? That's right. <laughs> and, of course, people that aren't familiar with this is where the bulkheads are. Um, primarily, we're using a lot of the LCs. And a lot of times, people just forget the simple thing is blanks. And... Uh, so, and again, there are so many different trays. You might see like a cassette kind of like this with the splice that you can go back and forth. But this video is just to showcase how you actually secure it nice and tight so that we can work with it. Because once you're dealing with the armor, it's unforgiving to a certain degree, and especially when you have it service coil. So, as Carl is doing it, I just want to show you something. Joey, uh, show us the uh, Kevlar snips that uh, is right next to Carl. The yellow ones. Yep. So with these guys, those um, show us the blades too. So you can use regular snips, and uh, he's just scoring the jacket. But when you're doing the Kevlar, 
Kevlar is very tough, tougher than my hair. And basically those fiber snips are gonna be able to cut through the Kevlar. Um, the electrical snips that we usually use for regular copper, they can cut, but it's gonna dull it out real fast. Now, as you can see, Carl's got a good technique. You can just kind of shake it out a little bit. I guess I should stand up. And Carl's one of our senior guys, one of the fiber guys. Rob is pretty damn good at fiber too. What do you like about fiber, Rob, while we're sitting here? Um, I like how you have to be really tedious because I have, you know, I like stuff neat. Yeah. You know, kind of extra OCD. No, I love it. I love it. The way you have to do fiber, you have to be kind of, you know, surgical with it. Yeah. Oh, that's a good deal. Yeah, that's really good. That's, surgical. yeah. We're going to call you Dr. Rob. Dr. Rob. I yeah. Like oh, you know what? <laughs> you just got a new nickname, Dr. Rob. There we go. The doc, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna go to like Goodwill and get you a uh, doctor's thing. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, la yeah, that's right. <laughs> White high bills. Ooh. <laughs> as long as I can find a Goodwill, that sounds expensive. Mm -hmm. Anyway, back to Carl. What are we doing here? All right. So I'm just securing the jacket up top, so it won't get snagged when you try to close it. Right. Not too tight, though. No death grip. You know, a lot of times, too, is, and just with copper wiring, people throw shade on. They're like, oh, don't use wire ties. You know what? As long as you don't choke things or use too much tension, it, it's kind of just okay. Hold that to the second. Say what? Was that another? Nah. Some, some trays will have it, but, um, you know, and again, we can do them long because we can cut fiber real fast, but this way it gives our advanced teams something to work with. Right. I know we're actually going to the other tray. Anything else you'd like to add, Carl? No, that's it. That's it. And that's what, how we want to see it. The bridge cable way, um, different trays and various different things. So our pre-insulation teams for fiber will lace the trays like that and then our guys can come in with a splicer and just do some pigtails matt do you have anything to add to that no i do not joey do you have anything to add to it not at all ray do you have anything to add to it no sir dr rob do you no. have anything to add to it mm, brush your teeth oh <laughs> <laughs> you're the wrong profession man good all right like and subscribe our videos and thanks to everybody for watching